testing. Oh my gosh, I've been messing with the settings on my camera trying to get it to work with my phone so I can take photos with this camera. And it has been a nightmare. And I also think I need to move my mic closer. Testies. Testies? Oh yeah, <laughs> there we go. Hey guys, how the hell are ya? We're doing some makeup. Um, thanks for being patient uh, with me last week for not uploading on Thursday. I um, One of my cousins passed away a few days ago and um, you know, we weren't super close, but that's still fucking tragic and heartbreaking. Doesn't matter who it is. Um, so yeah, that and just life stuff in general, I was just feeling very overwhelmed and feeling like I was behind. And so I didn't want to spend my Thursday morning editing. I needed to take some me time. I haven't gotten any makeup recently that I've been like, ooh, I want to try that. I want to use that. So I just really kind of have been like using old makeup that I just have because I'm not super interested in a whole lot until I got this palette. This is the Danessa Myrix um, or Myrix Lightwork Volume 3 Infinite Light Palette. And when I show this to you guys, I haven't seen anything like this in a while and it's got me very excited. So it may be hard to tell and I'll do some swatches, but these colors are just like incredible. To give you a couple examples, some of these are cream and some of them are like not <laughs> they're kind of like they feel almost wet but they're not and okay so i'll sh i'll swatch a couple this one is like a cream they're like duo chrome like no other like how freaking cool are those as far as like putting these on your eyes i don't really know if they're supposed to because i know they don't say that they're eyeshadow um, just says shades and pigments and typically when it says that they're not like approved to go on the eyes but I have been putting things that aren't supposed to go on my eyes on my eyes for my entire life and I've never had any issues so use it your own risk uh, make your own choices but today we're gonna put it on the eyes real quick the two that I'm gonna use are these two right here and it's crazy because the camera is not like showing what these look like. Like this one looks crazy green. Like, let me just show you again. Even on camera, you can't see it. Like it looks so green. I don't know how I feel about putting chrome eyeshadow in my crease while I'm in my 30s, but you know, I feel like I need to turn up the ISO on this camera right now. It's pretty dark. Let me, let me try that. Let me try. This is like, there's like no fallout. It's pretty crazy. It's just like velvety. Like I can't even feel it going on. It's just so soft. And I'm gonna soften up this edge. I'm kind of regretting doing a halo eye because I really just want to smear this all over my eyelid and see how it does, but I'm gonna go ahead and put this one right here in the middle. Wow. That's so pretty. I'm hoping you guys can see this the way that I can in person. Did some super quick brows and um, foundation off camera because I didn't want to make this video too long. So <laughs> uh, everything that I used for my brows, which you guys probably already know, say it with me, Urban Decay's Brow Blade. <laughs> and my foundation has is linked below. I was using a different foundation a few weeks ago and it started to look like not great on my skin. Whoa, big kick down here. Oh my goodness. Um, <laughs> she was kicking so much this morning. Um, I, it was crazy. I was like, it, it actually, she actually woke me up the day before also because she was kicking so much. Um, it's so insane to me how different these look depending on the angle. It's so crazy. Like they're so 
Like, they're just so cool. Look at that. Now I'm gonna do a little bit of contour and then I was trying to decide if I wanna do a little bit of black over here because at certain angles it just looks kind of uneven and stuff because it's so chromatic. Um, I wanted to share this with you guys though. This I've actually been loving. There's this shade and then a darker shade if you do have darker skin. But this one's called um, Back to the Beach by LA Girl and I'm liking this because with bronzers, you, it has to grab the right amount of product. And as you can see, it like grabbed just enough without making it look like I just put a giant thing right here and it already looks kind of diffused. So I was pretty excited when I used this for the first time um, the other day and got it in the mail because I have been just kind of like using whatever bronzer I wanted to grab, but I'm really liking how this is looking and how it like blends in. So this has kind of been my go-to for the past week. And it, it blends out like so seamlessly. Today is so freaking hot outside. How's the weather where you guys are at? It is like 84 degrees. After the chiropractor today, I, I'm gonna do a little bit of nose contour. I, after the chiropractor today, I went and got my car washed and like as I was like doing like the vacuum thing and like all the stuff with those self-help car washes like it, i was just baking i was like holy crap it feels like summer um and i was in san marcos and it was just like so freaking warm this side of my nose right here i can never like i don't know if it's crooked right here but i just can never get that contour the way that i want it to be I grabbed an eyeliner because I did want to just add a little bit of this towards the lash line to help the lashes blend in. This is Surf Proof Easy Glider Eye Definer by Cali Ray. And this is supposedly long wearing waterproof. This one smudges out really well, unlike other waterproof eyeliner though. So this is one of my faves and it's like a dark blue gray. So I thought it would go really well with this. I'm sorry, dark blue green, not gray. I think I'm actually gonna do this in my waterline as well. Smudge this into the lash line a little bit. Color looks so bomb with this look, I love it. Now gonna dip into our um, Danessa Mirix palette go in with uh, Gaia, I think it is, and I'm gonna do this. This is what we have on the outer edge here. I'm gonna put this in here. And then I'm gonna take Martian, which is what we have in the middle. And because I don't want this look to get too dark, I'm just gonna continue this towards the inner corner. There's just like so many makeup ideas going through my head right now. I wish you guys could stick your fingers in this. I mean, that probably wouldn't be the most sanitary for me, but like, I wish you could stick your fingers in this because it's awesome. Maybe you even have this palette and you were cooler than me and got it way earlier. I'm gonna go in with Polaris. It's this one right here. And this one is a little bit creamy. As you can see, it kind of come off on the brush. So I don't know how this is gonna play over what I already have going on. I, I'm i not really too sure. So I'm kind of dabbing it on my hand. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. To kind of get, actually, oh my gosh. I don't know what to use. I'm gonna go with Spring Equinox right here. Give it to me, baby. I'm gonna be using the Jason Wu blush today because I don't wanna put on highlighter and these have like a little bit of a glow to them. I've talked about these before, I love these. I actually would love this in more shades, like less pink shades. So I don't know if that exists, but I probably need to go get it. This is um, called Sext and I'm gonna use these two right here. 
and you should be able to tell when I put them on, it just adds a little bit of a sheen. Wow, that was too much, Kristen. <laughs> Calm the fuck down. Okay, well, let's hope I can blend this in. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but there's like a nice sheen right here that it adds without being like too matte. I obviously put way too much on, whoops. These are the Lily Lashes in Paris. I love these lashes. A lot of their lashes are very big, which are beautiful, but I don't wear huge lashes typically. So these are a really good happy medium. Let's do some lips. Uh, I'm gonna be using the NYX Slide On Lip Liner in Sugar Glass. Oh, I'm out of breath. Okay, uh, does anyone have any information on uh, Temptation Island? When is that coming back? I love that freaking show. And if you've never heard of it, it's a lot better than like, a lot of the other ones because it's not like a game show. They don't, you don't win money for falling in love. Legit couples, many of which are from San Diego. I don't know why. Uh, go to a house and the girls go to a house with boys that guys, all the girls that are in co a couple go to a house with a bunch of dudes and stay there. And then the guys go to a house with a bunch of girls and it's, actually really cool to watch couples like grow stronger or women realize like their self-worth after seeing how their men act in a house with other women that are single. Uh, it's just, I didn't expect to get like that side of it. I just thought it was some like cheesy show and it's honestly awesome. I really, really like it. So I'm like, when is this coming back? Like, I think I finished the very last season that I watched months and months and months ago, like last year sometime. For lips, I'm gonna try this out. I don't know how this is gonna look, um, but I'm gonna do an all over with the Morphe Bear It All lipstick. Okay, maybe that's gonna be the light one because I thought I thought I was gonna go in with this one, which is Urban Decay Varfly, but it's literally super light. Okay, hang on. Let me get a darker lipstick to kind of do. Actually, maybe I can use the lip liner. Let's see. Okay, that's um a little chola looking, but I actually love that whole chola look and wore this like all through middle school, so we're just going to go with it. I did want to pop a little bit of the black from this just in here. And I'm gonna use the smallest little brush, the one that we use, no, I'm not, no, I lied. I'm gonna use the one that I used in the center and I'm gonna use, it's called Black Hole, I love that. Um, it's just the black from this palette. And I just wanted to like ground it a little bit in the corners, you know, just for a little bit of like, Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, it looks good, I like that a lot. This fucking sick ass eyeshadow and I have nowhere to go. Great story of my life. This shit would look so bomb at night, like just, can you just imagine like, just all over lid one of these, or like black and then like creeping up to like one of these other metallic ones. Oh, so so good to have it. With 3% left on my camera, we are finished. Okay, what do you guys think about this palette? I'm like pretty freaking excited about it and I'm excited to do more looks with it. I am obsessed with all of these shades. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments and we will see you next Tuesday for another vlog. Um, I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your week and weekend, and we will see you next week. Bye, guys.